Hello, good evening, guys. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Very well. Fine to be here. Happy to be here. Okay. Happy to be Perfect. That's the attitude that we need. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for your punctuality. Today I have more people than I had yesterday. And thank you for waiting a little bit. I know that I'm like two minutes late because there's a problem. I think there's a problem with my internet. Hopefully nothing will stop this class. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. Okay. Um, thank you for your punctuality. Again, I do really appreciate that. That is very important. And that's a quality that maybe Salvadorians should have. But we should have it, but we don't. Okay. Um, as we are three or four minutes ahead with the class, I'm going to look for your attendance to start with that at Reading. Okay. But before we start, can you hear me perfectly? And can you like see me perfectly? Is it well? Yes, we can. We okay. can hear you. It's not frozen. There's not into. No. 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 Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. I don't know why, but the, the tenants having problems. Let me check. Even though I have to wait until eight o five, and then I start with the attendance. But just let me check because my phone is a little bit slow. Okay. Now I have it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, um, remember that is a requirement to have your cameras on, your microphones off, and only if you need to say something, you turn on your microphones, otherwise you keep it off, okay? And the, the people who don't have the cameras on, please let me know why, what is the problem, and what is happening so you don't have the camera on. Okay. Very happy people didn't come to the class yesterday. Okay. Every time you don't come to classes, they called you, right? So you need to report when you don't come to classes and why, what is the reason, okay? Okay, anyways, uh, I think we're, a, yeah, we're a group, a good group now. So I'm gonna start with that then. Let's... Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. Nope. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Okay. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present teacher. Okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Francisco here, no? Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Let me check, I have a message. Teacher, okay, okay. That is Jocelyn Rivas. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, let's continue. Um, I mean, Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay. So Harvin was the one who stayed with me yesterday for the extra 10 minutes. Today is Kenya's Esmeralda, Kenya Esmeralda, but I don't know if she's here. Well, we'll see. If not, I'm gonna go with another person. Kenya Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Okay. Madeline Jamilet Molina Gonzalez. Present teacher. Okay. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez Hernandez. Present. Okay. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes. 
No, Marlon, no here yet. Okay. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay. <clears throat> Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. I'm here. I remember you now, Yanari. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I you now. Yeah, with the camera on, I can remember. Yeah, I can remember. <laughs> okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Good job. What happened to that group, Janari? Did they stop coming to classes? Were you the only one who survived that group? Or what happened, Jessica? I mean, Janari. Are you still there? She left. Hello. No, not there. Okay. Maybe I'm going to ask her later. Well, thank you for being here, guys. Welcome to the class again. Welcome to this class. And we're almost like working. We're almost on the middle of the, this course. I know that you had a few classes with the last teacher who was Ruben, but I don't know who was your last teacher before Ruben. Who was your last teacher? Uh, Ruben Santos. No, but before him. We had a teacher, female teacher. Rafael. Rafael. Uh, oh, uh, Silvia. Silvia. Uh, so some of you no, had no. Silvia, some of you had Rafael. Actually, uh, it was the last one, then before it was Rafael. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, I got it. Okay, thank you very much for clarifying that. Okay, well, now you have another teacher, another female teacher, right? What is my name? Aha, uh -huh, if that was the question. <laughs> I remember your last You are Diane. Diana. Yes. Diana, Diana, Sai. Diana <laughs> Yeah, they put my whole name in the chat. I remember my whole name in the chat. I was like, no, I don't like my full name. Just call me. I like to be called Diana Sayas. That's what I like to be called. The whole middle thing, I don't like it. <laughs> well, Lupe is like, I don't know. I feel old when people call me like that. And Rodriguez is like the most Rodriguez. common last name in the planet. It's like many Rodriguez people in the world. So that's why I like better Sayas because I know a few people named Sayas like with that last name. Okay, last class we were practicing a tongue twister that I told you that was gonna be for pronunciation. I don't know if Janet is there, maybe with her I practice some tongue twisters. I don't remember because I always practice those tongue twisters with my groups because that helps with pronunciation. And the pronunciation we are trying to fix and these tongue twisters, well, the specific one that we have um, since yesterday is the pronunciation of the letter S at the beginning of words together with another consonant. We were talking about stay, school, um, street, and then we were saying scream, right? I scream, you scream. The other pronunciation that we are trying to fix or improve is the pronunciation of the letter R in the whole word. Don't say only I, I scream. If I say that, that is incorrect. Even though it sounds good, I scream, it's not correct because the correct form will be I scream. You see, we're just changing the pronunciation of the letter S because we don't have an E at the beginning of the word. It's not a scream, it's scream. And we don't say a scream with that R, the roll R. We only put the tongue in the upper part of our mouth, like cur. R, 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 and we were dinosaurs, right? Like R, that's the letter R right there. I scream, you scream. We all scream for I scream. The thing is you don't need to go with speed. It's not about speed. 
You don't need to go really fast at the beginning. You need to say word by word as it is supposed to be. Then when you have it and you have the pronunciation of every single word, then you can go with speed. It's like when you're little, you're a baby, you don't run first, you crawl first, right? Like you need to go step by step. Okay, let's go again and, and it will be, I scream, you scream, we all scream for I scream. And if it helps you, if it helps you, it will be good if you go with I scream, you join two words to make it better. I scream, you scream, I scream, you scream, I scream, you scream, I scream, you scream. You see, I'm joining you, we scream, you scream, you scream, I scream, you scream. We all, and then with the all, you add the scream. We all scream, we all scream, we all scream, for ice cream. Let's go step by step right here. Janari, did I practice this tongue twister with you? No, teacher. Did I practice the tongue twister with your group before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did? Yeah. Okay, so you have it now? Can you say it? Um, I remember, um, I don't remember. <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? I remember that. You remember the how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck Yeah, yeah. Okay. But did I practice the Betty Butter Bit of Butter? No. <laughs> we didn't practice that one? No. Uh, I, I, I say it, but I, for me, it's difficult to practice it. Okay. But we did practice it in the, in the group. Oh. We did or we didn't? Uh, in but uh, last year, uh, uh -huh, yesterday uh -huh. I oh. can say it. No, yesterday we were practicing the ice cream, you scream, ah, ice ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember that one? Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you, Yanari. So we're going to be practicing again. Yeah, you see, since the very, very, very start, I like to go with pronunciation because sometimes it's not about grammar rules, you guys. Because you're not learning English to be teachers. Or are you learning English to be teachers? Not right. You are learning English just to understand the language, not to understand why. Like just to understand what people say to you, but don't understand that grammar structure they are using when they are speaking to you. My case is different from your case. That's why always students ask me, teacher, how many years did you study to learn English? Well, in my case it's different because I studied, studied six years to be a teacher. So those six years, they have English included, yes, but they also have didactics, they have psychology, they have everything related to education. So it's different in my case. So that's why I like you to, I like my students to speak. That's what they need. They need to speak and they need to understand. That's it. Sometimes when you cannot communicate an idea, you're not gonna be thinking, what is the grammar structure to ask this? For example, let's think about this. You wanna go to the restroom in a restaurant, but you have forgotten how to say it correctly in English. Are you gonna hold the P just because you don't know how to say it in English? Or are you gonna say me need, me need bathroom? Even though it's restroom in a public place, or are you gonna say me need bathroom? Are you gonna say it like that? Or are you gonna be like, no, mejor no digo eso. Mejor aquí me voy a quedar, voy a usar una escrita porque like, yeah, I don't know how to say it in English. You're gonna communicate an idea, right? Or are you gonna hold it? Hold it, you know what is hold it? Yeah, exactly. Are you gonna hold it, really? 
Or are you going <laughs> to try to communicate the idea? Uh, I will try to communicate my idea. Exactly. I See? will try to. Exactly. That's what we're talking about. It's not about the grammar structure. Grammar is important. Don't take me wrong. Grammar is important, but it's not the main thing. Okay. When people from the United States, they come to El Salvador, and I say El Salvador because that's the right way to say it. Okay. It's not El Salvador. I know that some people say it like that, but for me, I can say it. So I will say it. When people come to El Salvador, they do the funny accent like, all the my number is uh, Joan, was uh, supposed to conoce her care. And we're not like, we no sabe hablar, like we understand. And that's the main idea. If we can understand, that's perfect. The second part is they don't know how to say things correctly with grammar, but they try and we can understand, right? That's the same thing with you. And you're gonna improve, yes, because that's why you're here with the practice. So as much as you practice, that's gonna be the thing. And for example, if I ask you, ¿Por qué en español tenemos los verbos, los sujetos tácitos que van como implícitos en el verbo? Can you answer that? Like, <laughs> can you? Right, right. A simpler question. ¿Qué es un sujeto tácito? <laughs> Sobreentendido. Ex How do you say that, that in English? Understanding. Like, under, on sobreentendido. That will be like, mm, understand that. Understand that. It's Something like understand that. Yes. Yeah, it's Teacher, I, I, had, I had a problem in a plane. When I in was, a what? Yes, I had a problem with the, I, I was traveling in a plane. Okay. I was a drink. I was I, I want a drink. Wanted a drink. What? And I I wanted a drink. Oh, you wanted to a drink. For a drink to, to the attendant, to the flight attendant. Mm -hmm. And I I needed the drink without ice. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about 10 or 15 minutes how to say. Sin hielo. I, I, I have no idea how to say sin hielo, sin hielo, sin hielo. And uh, when the flight attendant came, I only say no ice. <laughs> and that's, that's all. It, it was, they, she understood me. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. You could have said, I want a drink without ice, please. But it was not on your mind in that moment and you say no ice, yes. right? No ice. Yes. Maybe, and just maybe, <laughs> because here's the thing. Pronouncing eyes and uh, eyes is very similar. Yes. <laughs> maybe you say sin ojos or no ojos, <laughs> but you understood. ¿Quién pone ojos en la bebida? But you understood like he's talking about eyes, right? Yes. That's the thing. You need to communicate the idea. And that's it, that's it. Don't worry about anything else. People in the United States, they are two, there are two kinds of people over there. People who are really kind and they will like to understand everything you're saying. And people who are racist, they are racist. Like if you are talking with the perfect accent, maybe the people who work in call centers will get calls like that. And you're perfectly speaking. Hello, my name is Diana. Thank you for calling Inglés Corporativo. How can I help you? And they will be, I don't speak Spanish. And you're speaking in English. And they will be, I don't speak Spanish. I want to speak to someone who speaks Sp English. Okay. And you're like, eh, that I spoke English. But you're going to be like, okay, ma'am, I'm sorry that I took your call. I'm going to transfer your call to another person. Don't worry about it. Don't take it personal. That they, it's your accent. We have an accent, but don't worry. It's gonna be there. People are gonna be like that, and some people are gonna be glad that you're helping them. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't stress about it. It's just the way it is. Okay, and that's a perfect example. The one that David was saying, right? Um, that he didn't 
know how to say without eyes. And he only said, no eyes. In my case, it's funny maybe because I was an advanced student when I went to the United States and I wanted a straw. Do you know what is a straw? Yes, teacher. What is a straw, Andres? Can you help me? Uh, ah, yeah. here. Exactly. And you know, guys, straw is one of the most difficult words in Spanish because only maybe in El Salvador and I think Honduras, we call it pajilla. But some yes. other places they call it popote, they call it pitillo, they even call it pajita. They call it many different right. ways. Yeah. So it's not only pajilla. So, but the thing is that I didn't know how to say pajilla in English. And I was in a restaurant and I was with people from the United States. And I was like, how can I ask for a pajilla? And a napkin. I didn't know how to say even straw or napkin. What did I do? I said, I need something to drink. And they were like, oh, you need a, 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 a straw. I was like, I think that is, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I need a straw. And then I was like, and something to clean? You need a napkin? And I was like, yeah, a napkin. Never forgot about it again. I learned those words in a restaurant because I needed to learn those words. And the need to learn it made me not forget about it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're there, you're gonna get it. It's just gonna be here. It's just gonna be there. Well, enough, enough of the talk. <laughs> now let's go to practice and we're gonna practice the same tongue twister we were practicing yesterday. For the people who don't have it uh, to wear. Yeah, tell me. Me? Uh -huh. Means, uh, yes, I'm sorry. I was a little bit late today, but um, now I don't know if you are ready past the list. I did. And you are? Uh, Let me see. Uh, Marlon. Marlon, Marlon Stanley. Marlon yeah. Stanley. Okay, in a few minutes, I'm going to go again with the attendance. Okay, Marlon? So maybe okay. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. But thank, thank you, you for telling me. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay. The thing that I'm telling you is that maybe you need to join like this. These two words, ice cream, then these two words, you scream, and then these two, we all scream for ice cream. That's going to be better. That's going to help you with the pronunciation. <gasps> what did I do? Oops. Oops. There. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. Okay. So I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Again, it's not about speed. It's about saying every single word. Don't go ice cream, I ice cream, you ice cream, we all ice cream for ice cream. That is incorrect. I ice cream, you ice cream, we all ice cream for ice cream. No. The correct way is I scream, the R is soft, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And try to say it like this. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, try to say it like that so it gets here and it gets here. Remember what I told you, if you go to the gym and you do squats on your mind, Nothing is going to happen. You need to actually do it for something to happen. Is that understandable? Yes. Okay. You have it? You have the tongue twister, right? Yes. And please, guys, when we go to break rooms, it's your time to shine. It's your time to speak. Not my time because I'm not there. Well, sometimes I go, but I just watch and listen. It's not my time. Don't be like, yeah, we practice, teacher. We practice, and I said it once. And I'm like, okay, but that's not practicing actually, because we're training. It's like ice cream, using ice cream for ice cream, ice cream, using ice cream for ice cream. Maybe you can 
challenge your classmates and be like, okay, this time we're gonna say it three times in a row and fast. Okay, this time we're gonna say it slow, but with good pronunciation. This time we're gonna say it five times in a row and see who makes a mistake, okay? Just challenge yourselves and your classmates to make it a little bit fun and not stop practicing. Don't stop practicing because that's what you need to do. Practice, 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 practice. Did I make myself clear? Is it understandable? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I need to place David in the same breaker room. Please. Yeah, I don't want to do it right now. Mm, let's see, David and David. Yeah, exactly. Let's go there. Madeline, are you there?
Hello. Hello, teacher. How was the practice? It was good. Okay. So a volunteer who wants to say it here. Come on, I know there's one, at least one volunteer who wants to. Me, teacher? Excellent, David. Thank you very much. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Okay, good job. Good job, David. Actually, good job. Manuel, I see you're moving your lips, but it doesn't. I, I cannot hear you. Okay, I'm going to try. Can yeah, you hear now. me very well? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay, um, ice cream, uh, your screen, we all screen for ice cream. Okay, good I job. Guess. Yes, it's good. The only thing that I will ask you to do is try to soak the letter R, okay? But besides that, good job. Okay. Okay. And anyone else who wants to try it? No, you know what? I'm going to do it mausocraticamente. Okay. <laughs> where the mouse stops, there's the thing that where I'm going to start. Okay. Let's see. I'm not looking at it. Where is the mouse? Okay. The mouse is here at Francisco Amadeo Villacorta. There's where it stop. Why me? Uh, but the mouse, the mouse has chosen you. You're the chosen one. No, I have problem for pronouncing this. Well, that's the thing. If you say it, maybe I can help you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like this is idea because January is push me, push it's, me. Okay, she's pushing you to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just do it. Just do it. Like, try, like the I Nike try. logo. Just do it. Okay, ice cream, you spring, we all scream for ice cream. And what is the problem with pronunciation, Francisco? Why are know, you saying like like no, but it's good. It was really good. No, you see? They, no. No, it's good. Sometimes I don't know why. <laughs> no, 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 no. The boundaries are here. There's where the boundaries yeah. are. Okay. No, but you did a good job, Francisco. Good job. Okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with one more person. Mausocraticamente. No, ya participo. Ready. Ya participo. No. Cameras no, the same people. Jocelyn. Okay, teacher, I screen, you screen, we all screen for ice cream. Okay, okay. Can you say it again? I screen, you screen, we all screen for ice cream. Yeah, you say it right. Just the last, we all scream, and it's we all scream. We all scream. We all scream. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Jocelyn, very much. Okay, guys, every time you do this and you do these exercises, it's gonna be really good for your pronunciation and you're gonna tell me later. By your own, if you can do something, maybe you can learn songs in English. And as a student was asking me yesterday, mm -hmm. don't go with the hard stuff. Okay, for example, kids, they watch cartoons and they, imitate what they see in the cartoons. For example, kids, sometimes they say, me gustaría un emparedado. We're like, un sandwich tres, un pan con pollo. That's what you want? But they call it emparedado. Why do you think they call it emparedado if you always say sandwich? Why? Because they learn Mm -hmm. uh, or by the television or or YouTube videos and always the people use the the neutral Spanish I don't know okay the neutral Spanish thank you Blanca that's a good uh, that's a good um, 
idea and that's a good comment on the class. Okay, um, yes, that's what they do. That's why they call it Los Niños Discovery, that they speak like they were discovery kids. That's, that's how they speak. But because they imitate, they copy what they see. What are you going to do? You say, teacher, yeah, I watch a movie in English, but sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, because you're not advanced level. Why are you watching a movie with complex words? Maybe you're like, teacher, es que fíjese que yo veo Doctor House y no lo entiendo. Me neither. Who understands medical <laughs> slang? You're talking about medical stuff. Sometimes I watch it in Spanish and I'm like, yeah, okay, lo que dijo. So like, it's, I don't, I don't get it. It's, it's a special language. Now, what you need to do is start with the basic. Maybe watch cartoons in English. And it's gonna be like with the kids. You're gonna understand because it's easy language. Then you go a little bit further, 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 further until you get to the movies. But start watching movies with like comedy. They have like easy, easy, easy English that you can understand. Maybe you can not understand some jokes, but don't watch things about astronauts in, 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 in English. Don't watch <laughs> engineering things in English. And you're going to be like, y no le entendí cuando estaban hablando del átomo no sé qué. We don't get it in Spanish. Why can't we? How will we get it in English? So don't be like that. Don't be pushing yourself like too hard, way too away in the, uh, in the English experience. Start from the basics and then go step by step. Okay, that's what you need to do. Don't be like, pero a mí me han dicho que viendo series me voy a aprender y yo estoy viendo ahorita que dice Nato. I remember when, teacher, uh -huh. I remember when I started, uh, I used to watch um, at the beginning Clifford and um, Caillou. <laughs> in English? Yeah, in English. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. And Plaza, that's... Plaza Sesamo too. And, the, and did you get it? Did you get what they were saying? Yeah. Because it's easy language, you see? Yeah. That's what we need to do. Yeah, exactly. You don't believe me. And sometimes people laugh at me. But watch Dora the Explorer. Dora, Dora, Dora. Like, yeah, you watch it and you'll get, you'll get it. She's like, jump, Rio, jump. And, and, and you get it because she's saying, jump. Está saltando? So what is jump? Saltar. So, oh, jump. No, don't, don't try to be like that, okay? Start from basic. That's going to be my advice today. Okay, I have here, I don't know. Oh, Francisco, do you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. No, only ask, uh, do you rem what kind of cartoon movie do you, rem do you recommend to see? Well, as I told you right now, I recommend to watch Dora the Explorer. Go Diego, go. <laughs> um, Caillou actually is one. Sesam Street okay. is another one that, that he was saying. Start okay. with that. Start with those. Those are the basic ones. Then, I like oh, to see oh, the... George, George, the, George. the, the monkey. The monkey. George yeah. and the Jungle. Yeah, yeah George. George. Jungle. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, exactly. What David said, David said. Yeah, George. I That's would like to see the bit Maya. Oh, Maya bit. Yeah, Maya. What is that one? Beep. The beep. Beep? Uh huh. Yeah. La Veja Maya. I have never seen that one. Really? Never watched that one. Okay, but if it works for you, just go. Just go ahead with the basic ones. Okay. Just go ahead because I like Winnie Pooh when I was little. Maybe I can watch Winnie Pooh in English now. You see? It's something. Uh, maybe something that I liked. That was Caillou. <laughs> exactly, I like Caillou. Marlon, tell me. Yeah, so another thing that helped me a lot uh, to improve my English was uh, watch um, some interviews of famous people in uh, English. Um, As well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that helped help me a lot because um, I think the, uh, these uh, people uh, speak uh, the, the uh, daily English. And, yeah, so it's not 
so difficult to understand when they're speaking and, and that's helped me a lot yeah exactly exactly marlon that that as well and when you get to a to the next level maybe you can watch youtubers in english just watch youtubers talking about daily stuff in english they don't yeah. use complicated english they use daily english like, they use a lot of slam. That's why sometimes um, you are not able to understand. Uh, um, mm -hmm. That's why it's really uh, difficult to understand something. And you get frustrated uh, at the beginning, but later on, you understand. Exactly, Marlon. For example, do you know what figure out means? Figure out? Yeah. If uh, Yeah, it's like I uh, try to understand or resolve something i just trying to figure out figure it out okay yeah i'm gonna figure it out but i'm gonna ask you something how do we say that in spanish um, in spanish it's like lo voy a resolver estoy tratando una de... manera de resolverlo uh -huh. yeah but for example i'm gonna figure it out resolverlo yeah fix it yeah but there's ver la manera, okay? Gringos use a lot of figure it out. Um, Don't call I'm them gringos, they hate it. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, um, North American people. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're all American. Yeah, you, I, I like to call them U.S. citizens. Okay. Um, yeah, U.S. citizens, uh -huh. uh, but I say always gringos when I'm in the call center <laughs> and, and they hate it. <laughs> Let me tell yeah. you if you call one like that, because you know what gringo means, right? I know a little bit about this is about, um, uh, it's about a, a war, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And the past, and I don't know if uh, it's like a gringo, gringo is like. The uniform was green. Uh -huh. Green and, and people buy and say, uh -huh. green, yeah, go, like green, go. green, go. Go. And uh -huh. when you're calling them like that, you're talking to them like leave my country or leave here. I don't want I don't want to see you here. That's but, why but, I but hate yeah. It was, a, it was a, a war term from the war with uh, Mexican and uh, uh, USA citizens. Mm -hmm. The 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 command for the army is go, green mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. When the army was attacking, they said green go. Mm -hmm. And the Mexican uh, only hear that green go. And the Mexican was the, the people who tell them first green go because they was they hear that word. The the is you see you remember the Toy Story the the the, the, the army that uh, uh, Toy Story the army that uh, uh, how was the the guy the the, the Woody, Woody, Woody command the army to go and see and, and, and look for the presence. And the sergeant, the sergeant is go, 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 go. This is the the command, the, the command for the army. Oh, really? Way, I, I, I didn't yes. understand that background. And actually green, when in, you in, hear green light, it means go. So green, yes. green is green like go. The army oh, in perfect. go was the attacking boats. Okay. Green, yes. go. But actually it, when green, if they say green, actually that will be go as well because green light means go ahead. Like you can go. The, the, all, all the people in all the world said green, go home. Yeah, green, go home. Yes. That's what they yes, say. Yes, That's this, what this say. was uh, actually, but the origin of the phrase, it was in the war with Mexican from the Texas. Mm -hmm. with, when, when they were fighting for Texas and Okay. In Mexican people here, green, green go. Okay, okay, okay. Really okay. good. Well, you you learn something every single day. But before we go, okay, <laughs> let's start. Let's go again with attendance because we, uh, before I forget. So now I will uh, call American citizens. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I call. No, but don't call them American citizens because we are all American yes. citizens. Call them US, 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 US citizens. citizens. US citizens. Uh -huh. US yeah, citizens. That's, a, that's a good way to call them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Axel Gabriel Rivera Rodriguez. 
Axel is not coming to classes lately. Mm -hmm. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Okay. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Martinez. Mendes. Mendes, sorry. Present. Okay, thank you. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Um, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Um, Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present teacher, my microphone didn't work before. Oh, but you were here. Yes, sorry. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Kenya, today is yeah. your time to stay with me for the 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Madeline Jamilet Molina Gonzalez. Okay. Manuel de Jesus Sanchez Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Marlon Stanley Ramirez Reyes. Present. Telma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Oh, she sent a message. Yeah, I saw it. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Yeah, William here. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay. Perfect. Good. Now, uh, we were talking about those things. Yeah, they don't like to be called like that as we are not, as for example, me, I don't like to be called Mexican. I remember one time that I was in Chicago. So I was visiting there and we were people like from Spain, Colombia, Chile, um, many, many, many countries, but Spanish speaking countries. So if you are with people who speak Spanish, why would you speak in English? right? Spanish is the native language. So we were speaking Spanish there in Chicago. And a guy look, looked at us and he said, speak English, you Mexicans. I don't say the right word, but you figured out what the right word was like, like the swearing. And my friend, <laughs> he was from El Salvador as well, well, he is from El Salvador as well. And he said, we're not from Mexico, somos del Salvador. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they don't get it. They, they, they just understand Mexico. Everything that is down Mexico, it's Mexico to them. It's, it's not something else, but besides Mexico. That's what, they, that's what they hear. That's what they call us. And yeah. That's, that's why we call them gringos. Because, yeah, but don't we <laughs> revenge the revenge is never good. Revenge is never good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, um, you will find people who are really sweet and kind and understanding in the United States. I found many people like that. But what we need to do most of the time is try to be nice if they are not not nice that's on them but you try just to be nice right like I like to be nice but I don't call I don't like to call them Americans that's something that is not here it's like it hurts when they when they're like Americans we're from America and I don't like it so I told you before that I was a teacher in in a public school in the United States right so I was a teacher there and I was teaching Spanish so I, were, I was with these first graders and the teacher was from Spain. And she was like, okay, she is Diana. She's from El Salvador and whatever, 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 whatever. And then one of the students said, hey, is this your first time in America? And I was like, what do you mean? I have lived my whole life in America. But I didn't say that, right? It was a little kid and I was like, how? Because I didn't get it. And then the teacher told me, they call the United States, they call America. 
And I was like, oh. And I was like, this is my first time in the United States? Yes. And he was like, oh, okay. So welcome to America. I was like, where was I living in an island before or something like that? Like, welcome to America. This is America. Welcome to this beautiful continent. But this, that's how they call it. Since they are little, they learn that America is the United States. And that's how they understand it. That's why I don't like to call them Americans because it hurts my heart because I live in America. <laughs> but US citizens is not offensive to them. It's not offensive to us. It's a neutral thing. Yeah, we can use it. US citizens. OK, boys. what is it, Fredis? White boys. White boys? Yeah. White boys, yeah, they don't like to be that. Ah, it's so complicated. Nowadays, you need to understand that nowadays, many things that we can say that sometimes seem like not with a bad intention, people will understand it as a bad intention. We are in that kind of era right now. So we need to be careful with words. What is it, Fredis? They used to call me Beaner. I always used to get on a fight with that. <laughs> yeah, that's how they call us as well. But what? Just try to avoid those things. Those, those, those. American citizens are really sensitive. <laughs> U.S. citizens. I'm sorry. Uh, U.S. citizens, they are really sensitive. <laughs> yeah, they are sensitive, but they can be aggressive. But let's talk about some other things because maybe they are listening to us right now. You know, they can listen to everything we're saying <laughs> and we don't like it. We, we, we don't want it to be listened. Okay. And this video is going to YouTube. So remember that as well. <laughs> okay. Let's go back here. Um, I, I want to ask you a question. Who here is on a computer right now? Who's using a computer, not a cell phone, a computer? Fatima. Me, teacher. And teacher. David. Me. Okay. Fatima, Me David, teacher. Francisco, Blanca. Okay, wait a second. I don't know. Fatima, David, look, oh. Francisco, Blanca, <gasps> many, many students. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna make one, two, three, four, five groups. Look guys, right now I, okay, thank you for it because you're gonna help me sharing something that I can't because um, for YouTube stuff. Look, I'm writing lately, so I got in an accident. Well, you didn't know me last week, but maybe, Last week was kind of crazy to me. Like a dog beat me. I had an accident with the door of my car, but not a big accident. And I my car broke in the middle of the street. So I had many things happening to me last week. I thought I was not going to make it to this week. But anyways, look, this, can you see that? Yes. This happened to my finger with my, the, the door of my car. My car sore. It happened to me. So every time that I'm writing now, I, I remember because I write like this. I write like this. Like this. It, it, I don't know. And right now I was writing like that. Okay. Anyways, it's out of the topic. Okay. I'm going to share a link with you about a video. The video, it's about the topic that we were discussing yesterday. You remember yesterday's topic? Well, conjunction? Yeah, no? well, that was a review. Okay. We then mainly we talk about about, about uh, millennials. 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 Exactly, millennials. So I'm gonna send you a video about millennials. And what I need you to do is share your screen with the audio. When you go to options and you say, and you click on share screen or compartir pantalla, you're gonna see an option there that it says compartir sonido or share sound. Okay, you're gonna click on that to share the sound of this video, please, to the people who have the computers. I need you to share this video and discuss uh, the topic with your classmates because 
my, well, in my side of the video, I cannot share videos because I upload the video to YouTube. And if I use any other video, it will delete my video because it's like copyright, something like that. So that's why I need you to share the videos. And I'm gonna use the name of some people here. So Fatima is gonna be in one group. Wait, I'm gonna make five groups. No, four groups, okay. Okay, so David is gonna help me in what group sharing the screen. Blanca is gonna help me in another group. Mm. Fatima, you're gonna help me in another group, okay? And Francisco, you're gonna help me in another group, okay? Okay, teacher. So you're gonna share the screen with the audio and the video, and then you're gonna have a conversation about the video. What do you think about it, okay? Is the activity understandable? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, Thank you. Okay, the, the, the sharing the screen is? Yeah, it's, it's, it's now it's enabled. I, I think in, it's now, I think you can do it now because I, I, I allowed you to do it. I don't know. If, okay. Yeah, I think it's on. It's on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. The link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, that's it. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. That's the link. <laughs> exactly. That's the link. You go to the link and then share it with your classmate. Okay. Uh, right. Let's go. Can you tell me to uh, the uh, room? Oh, what happened? I, I don't know why I don't have the options to join. Okay, I'm but, gonna send you to one breakout room, but that's not your breakout room, so don't join, okay? Don't do it. But now, yes, in the number four, you go. Fernando, okay. what happened to you?
to the relationship. So she helped the she helped women to to get out to the relationship to ah, okay. the abusive relationship. Yeah, and ah. there is another guy that, for example, she she have created an app that helps to I don't know I don't remember what helps safety that it's an, uh, uh, an app of safety. I think that it's an app, something like to, to get notice to your family or your friends, close friends, that you are not in danger or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Lately, there are a lot of, of apps that you can use for that to get safe. Yeah, that's true. And the other guy that ha has her own cafe, that's a, a good. A good way to get independent. We already see the, the video teacher twice. We are talking about that. Oh, they carry for, for other people. Be well. Yeah. Ah, yeah. There is another guy that. Face uh, a foundation that helps children with with disease, right? Okay, that means that in the comments that the people said about the, the generation of millennials in one. Okay, look for the last one. Do you share it? Ah, this one. That was the one that was low, low yes. generation from from oh. wow. From 1890 to 1915. Yeah. The lost generation, yes. Oh. Luego, inter. Hello? Can you hear Interbellum generation from, from 1901 to 1913. The greatest generation, the silent generation, luego, baby boomer, then generation X. Uh, wow, this is a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can hear you, teacher. You are saying something? Hello? Hello? I, I, I can listen. Uh, the call has interference. 
Sorry. The video has interference. I cannot hear you very well. Maybe if you turn off your microphone and turn it on again. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I don't know. There was a problem with my brain. And can you hear my voice or can you hear the noise in the background? Do you hear the noise in the background or not? Actually, I can barely hear it. I can barely hear it. No. Not now. I, I, I can hear you, teacher. Sorry. If you write in the chat, you can write for your for your finger. Or send them an audio through WhatsApp. No, teacher. I I hear you some some sounds, but not the word, the whole word. We see the video for two times. We talk about video and then Freddy's share with us some picture about the generations. And then we are in that in that point. But I can hear you. Okay. We are waiting for you. That is a little more. Okay. This, this this classification is something. Right. Hey guys, they... what about okay. now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. And do you hear noise or my voice? Um, Can you hear my voice? I can hear your voice, but with interruptions. Yes. Yeah, it's because it's raining. Maybe it was raining. It's raining right now. It's raining. Ah, that's why. Ah, okay, okay. Because we. Well, can listen. you hear me? Well, can, you hear you? can you hear the rain? Okay. Can you hear my? Voice? No. So the weather, you have a poor connection. Okay, I really can listen well. percent 
Okay, this is a very important information. 5%, 15%, 20%, 27%, 32%. 32%. Well, if we do a, a 40, 40% and 77, 67%, 99%. And the generation alpha, maybe is rising like a higher percent, but uh, it's important. So, so teacher, so, so. It's so, so, okay. It's filled with uh, noise. Yeah, we still hear like, uh, it sounds like, I don't know, like. Like camera like robot? Robotic. Yes, yes, something like that. And in the background, like, it sounds like 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 something like, blowing like a wind or something like that. So the video has interference. We can hear you very well. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, a, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit for the rain to stop a little bit, and then we will see. What about now? Yeah, we can hear you better. Better? Yeah. yeah. Sound oh, better. The, the rain stopped. Actually, it was raining cats and dogs. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, okay. Hello, can you hear me well, guys? Yep. You sound like R two D two in the in the in Didn't the do world. <laughs> in the breaking room. Like a robot, yes. But right now. So so teacher, so so. Okay, right now here uh, it's raining. Yes. It's raining really bad. Actually, like really, really bad. Maybe if you don't understand what I'm saying, tell me. Okay, we're listening. I will try to speak slow. Teacher, we cannot hear you very well. We don't, we don't understand, teacher. Try to turn off talk. the camera. Uh, you said it is raining uh, in this moment on your town, correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is because of the rain. Yes. Um, okay. Can you hear me better if I have my camera off? 
No, teacher, the same. Okay. We, can, we can hear you very far away. Okay. What about now? Maybe if you send us an audio through WhatsApp. That'll be good. Okay, teacher, we okay, try to get. We can read you. Yes. She tried to guess the meaning. Okay. I'm gonna be the one in chat. Teacher, there are there are a new uh, a new a new whiteboard in the Zoom. In the bottom of the there are a new whiteboard and you can write in the whiteboard the word and all of us can write what we think that is the meaning. It's interactive, yes. Ah, okay. You share Cat a presentation. Got your turn. Cat got your turn. El gato te comió la lengua. <laughs> this is the same as, <laughs> as Spanish. Is <laughs> mm -hmm. the same scene uh, as in Spanish. Cat got your tongue. I didn't know that idioms. I I think it's for something for someone or for somebody that it was. Uh, it's, it's, El ratón. It was silent, silent in. in in, uh, in Spanish, it's el ratón te comió la lengua. Cat. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I was high. I can see a cat. Yes, cat. <laughs> cat is your tongue. Yes. Another one. You use it when someone it's silent. Yes. Yeah. Go the extra mile. Go the extra mile. Yes, yeah, this was for the Bible. Give the an extra effort when you are doing something. Doing something. You can put another. Another. You can share your, your opinion in another way, maybe. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, you are doing. You are doing. You are not giving up. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You are typing really fast. Think out the box. Yes, this is what uh, Steve Young oh, yeah. always say. See different. Think out the box. Uh, you need to. Out the box, it, it, it means that don't be a square of your thing, that you have to see other you options. Have a idea. You have to see other options. That's what I think. Yes, think out the box is a. Uh, yes, so not not yeah. plus nine. Yes, that's right. Yes, think beyond the expectations. The slogan for a CEO was "Think different." Beyond the press, press, press I don't know how to say. It. Yes, I think that teacher from me because I am a teacher and I teach. Uh, your idea, your idea uh, maybe it doesn't matter, I guess. Mm, no better, but you need to think 
eh, son empathic and some beyond the borders of the traditional teaching, of traditional way of do the job. Maybe if you do the, the job at, uh, in a different way, it is important, new ideas, yes, yes, that is. That is, we have many, many students with familiar problems. They don't learn, not because they don't have, that they don't care, but because they have problems and you need to understand, you need to help them. And that is important. Bueno, <laughs> yes. yes, teacher. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's better. No, like that tradition. No. no. Now you can hear me well? Yes. Yeah, yes. Well. Can you hear you? Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, that was <laughs> that was crazy. Well, but you yeah. can hear me, you can hear me better now, I think. And the problem was a uh, really, really, really strong rain here in Japan. I told you yesterday raining gas and not. Actually, I don't know, the, the water kind of somehow leaked to my, my ceiling. I don't know how, but it's a mess. It's a mess. And my house is new. It's actually not like a new house, but brand new uh, ceiling. I don't know how it got through it, but it's ready to really bad. But it's better now. So you can hear me now, right? Yes. Okay. Something that I would like to add that David was saying about thinking out of the box related to teaching is the idea that I have. So you, for example, you're my students here in this class. You're adults, you have jobs, you have problems in your house. So when you come here to the class, you don't wanna have more problems. What you need to feel is safe. You need to be, um, you need to have fun, okay? You don't need to be like, okay, now we're gonna read the page number seven. And then we're gonna, yeah, that traditional think, uh, thinking, it's not for us anymore. So with you, for example, the online classes, we have to make them speak. They need to speak, that's what they need to do. And we have to make them turn on the cameras, which sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. <laughs> And um, the other thing is, for example, with students in school, they have different needs and stuff. So that's what the video was saying, right? Like we need to think out of the box to do different um, teaching styles. In my case, I have to do different teaching styles with you. In the afternoons, I have a group of the INSP, you know what is that? Like Academia Nacional de Seguridad Pública. So I have students that are gonna be police. They're gonna be cops okay. Okay. in the afternoon. And I have you at night. And in the mornings, I have students, uh, especially students, students that who live in rural areas, they have different thinking and they have many problems. So with every group, I have to be different. And I have the students in the weekend. The students that I have in San Salvador, there are students that are working Saturday until noon and they go to classes after working and they go to traffic and they go, so it needs to be fun. It doesn't need to be boring or it doesn't need to be traditional as, as, as we were saying. Okay, good thing that I can go now with this and let's go with the next activity that I would like to explain right now before it starts raining gas and dust again. Okay. Now, I would like you to think about training ideas. Remember, we were talking about training, right? I would like you to think about training ideas for different jobs. For example, what kind of training will be good for marketing managers? What kind of training will be good for customer service? Then, what kind of training do you think is perfect fit for teachers? The same with call center agents and truck drivers. Maybe this is a difficult one because we don't know about truck drivers, what kind of training they need. 
but that's what I would like to do. So please take a screenshot right now. We're gonna group as a team and we're gonna think about ideas for training for this kind of job. For example, marketing manager. It can be maybe marketing ideas can... for new customer or branding. Yeah, branding, branding is a good uh you, you can copy what is it? Copy that in the in the in the chat of the Zoom teacher. You want me to copy? It? Yes. Send it to the WhatsApp group too. Thank you. And it's there as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna send you to work with different groups. And what I need you to do is think about ideas, good ideas to, uh, about training for these different jobs. You got it, it's marketing managers, I think it's customer service, call center agents, from drivers and teachers. Anything? Okay, let's go and work. Is the activity clear?
Parvin, what happened? No, nothing, teacher. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And can you hear me well? A little bit with that, but I can hear you. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm gonna close the rooms in a moment, okay? So we can go. Okay, probably. And were your classmates working or not? Ah, uh, yes, a little bit. Okay, okay. Thank you. But what's my mistake? This is the reason why I go out of the living room. Oh, you break, went. You know, okay, what's my mistake? Okay, okay, get it, get it. Your classmates are coming now. Hello, my dear students. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> because I'm gonna stay with her right now. And and yes, if the, you couldn't hear me, that would be a problem. Okay. Thank you very much for your patience today. I know it was a difficult class for me because uh, I don't know the internet didn't work. But I will see you tomorrow, guys. And I'm gonna ask you what. Um, trainings to decide for the job positions. But right now, right now I have to let you go because it's already time. It's 10.02 actually. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. Have a good night. Bye, bye-bye. Kenya. Hello, Tisha. Can you hear me well? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, how are you? I'm good, I'm sleepy. <laughs> You're Where sleepy? You? Yes. You work early in the morning? Yes. What time do you wake up? At 4 a.m. Yeah. And you go to bed at? Uh, right now <laughs> when we finish the class would you go to bed yes okay okay well i, I don't want to hold you here so if there's something i can help you with let me know if not you can go ahead and sleep um actually i really like the way you are teaching us because it's a great improvement compared to the last week so really? I'm okay <laughs> yes well, I didn't know that, but thank you. I appreciate it. I'm trying to do my best for you guys. Okay, thank you. We appreciate. Okay, and if there's something that you need to ask me about any topics or, well, if you want to, I'm, I'm just telling you, because if you want to go ahead and sleep, I understand. Uh, yeah, I'm okay for now. Okay. If you have any doubts, don't hesitate to tell me, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Have a great uh... night. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm guessing you're sleepy. Okay, go ahead and sleep <laughs> and have some rest. You need to wake up really early, so I understand. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you.